welcome back so previously we we touched uh, some of really important stuff in adobe photoshop adobe illustrator and again a really unique tool on adobe photoshop the liquify so basically we ended up doing this one we have a few layers in here um, that actually they are not that bad they are really good uh, I, I kind of like some of them but definitely you need to play more I mean I would have to play more with this and, and create some stuff I th the reason why I'm recording this and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm making this class is basically to show you the whole process of how I go and create the posters as well but at the same time I want to show you a few techniques that you can play around and create your own unique stuff so I highly r encourage you to use the technique and the tool but come up with something of your own and something that you really feel and and give your own your own touch to it so uh, in this case I, I kind of like this I think this is more into the style I have and maybe in stuff that I've been designing for the past year for the Baugasm project so yeah I, I kind of like this and I'm gonna stick with this but basically this is nearly done but it has to I think it needs a few more stuff so I'm gonna go on right now and, and create and add a few more elements to the whole thing um, so all right maybe I'm gonna change a little bit the background make it a bit purple more into this purple but just slightly darker so you know I still have that sharp edge around here but again we maybe I'm gonna change also the color of text and have it maybe white hmm maybe not maybe I'm gonna leave it here and make that background just a little bit darker maybe here alright let's try this again and make it maybe let's let's leave it white for now alright so I'm um, maybe I'm gonna add a background creating new layer and let's add a rectangle I just want to, to maybe I want to try also like a white background to it but let's see how it looks um, let's see the white background hmm I don't know um, that's I kind of like this text that looked more all right I kind of like also this white but I think it needs maybe somewhere here so it goes to the edge of it maybe have that dark purple we had purple blue in the beginning yeah I kind of like this but let's bring it down to the edge so it feels more like a square somewhere there and make it wider here and another in another class I, I also have showed you this technique where using the brush you can make the brush big and go to normal dissolve and select the color you want so in this case I'm gonna select this purple here and then you can you can just draw like that but then you can grab this tool and then select part of it and then delete that part and keep the one and I'm gonna bring this on top of that maybe just here and see how oh, I kind of like this it kind of fades that white in some parts but also let's maybe let's give a gradient to this all right let's get the gradient from purple to maybe come on to maybe some red let's see how that looks like okay it's not that bad um, I'm just gonna leave it somewhere here All right that purple kind of looks too much I think on the background kind of liked it here where it was before I'm gonna leave it here and change this one to 
that color. You know, I'm I'm sorry. I don't know if if you are interested in doing this and seeing the whole thing right now. But basically, what I had to show you, I already did. But I'm still playing with this, and I I still think it's important for all of you to watch this because this is a process I go every day while doing the posters, and I think it's really important that that you see this if if it is any of any interest of you. But yeah, I mean. It's some sort of difficult to come up with, with the final thing, but uh, yeah, you have to play until until you get to that point that you are happy with. So I'm just gonna keep playing with this and see what I can do. I kind of like this matching of these two colors right now, and uh, I think what it needs is like a different color just to be there in order to to create some I don't know like contrasting way maybe we can add some small I created a new layer just gonna make the brush really small like five let's say I'm gonna get the white and maybe draw some lines somewhere um, maybe make it a little bit smaller I'm just gonna draw some lines around here. I I, I do this quite often <laughs> with the lines. I don't know if you're bored seeing this, but yeah, I I kind of like to have these small dots around the 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 poster. It gives more like a space feeling, and that there is like noise and like grain to it. And this comes from the love of grain I have for, from photography. But yeah, it's kind of that dust that sticks <laughs> on the posters usually. And I kind of like that. And you can even, you know what is pretty cool? Because you can even liquefy this one. So if you go to, you, if you have everything in one layer, you can go to filter, and then liquefy, and then you can't see nothing, but just maybe play a little bit around. Maybe later you're going to find something. You're going to see something, I mean. <laughs> okay, let's see what we did. Uh, we created these weird shapes. But I kind of like them because they feel like they're part of the, of the design right now. And th that's what I wanted. So maybe there is also like an element, like a symmetric element needed to it. I'm not pretty sure, but... Usually I go with a, just a straight line or like a diagonal line. And maybe this is too small. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe five pixels. And let's see how that looks. Yeah. But maybe change the color. I'm not pretty sure if that's the right one. Maybe somewhere, let's make it red and see how that looks like. Purple, not really. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, something